Let's talk about calm driving. Right now, I have started the camera while I'm supposed to turn left. So I started the camera a little too late. Um, but basically, I cannot get out here. Just irritating. But I have a way of staying calm even when such things happens. Because it might be irritating to just hold there and tick 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 for several minutes. But there's a way to stay calm. There's a way to drive calmly and now my sensor didn't react to the car in front of me, so I have to step in. But using the sensors is actually part of driving calmly. Because I let the car use its sensors, which means I have an extra set of eyes. I'm not letting it have control. This car cannot take control. This car has a lot of sensors, and the sensors make sure it keeps in the lane which it does right now. I still have one hand at the wheel at all times because I have two. That's the law. But I also have a confidence in my car because I tested it out. But I still make sure that I have a very visible icon on my dash dashboard. Actually, this one has two lines that indicate if it can see the road. And it has an image of a car to indicate is there a car in front of me. That way I can see what the sensors see and I know if it's reacting or if I have to step in. That's the first step in relaxed driving. Second step is take 5 kilometers off the top of your speed. Just 5. You don't have to take 10 or 20 kilometers off the top of the speed. Don't just take the top 5. Never drive faster than the maximum amount allowed. Yeah, I know it's a no-brainer, but so few people does it. Seriously, when I drive out on a country road, I see people overtaking me once a minute, twice a minute, sometimes. It, it's happening very often, at least. And I get the sense that more people drive faster than the speed limit, which is a bad thing. We have a speed limit for a reason. So drive the speed limit for start. That is a great help in relaxed driving. And then hang back. It's okay to keep your distance. Hang back and allow the cars in front of you to do their stupid stuff first. Because if you allow them to do their stupid stuff first, then there's plenty of room to you to do your drive slowly. And it's a very simple concept. Drive slowly, allow yourself the time to, well, drive your car. There's no reason in hurrying up. Right now I have someone at an acceptable distance of me. But if I cannot accelerate out of a problem with someone being too close to me, I decelerate. They get very mad at me, but at some point they will just overtake and they will drive on. Because just as I want a brake distance to the next car, I also want them behind me to have a brake distance. If they cannot allow me to do that, well, I can decelerate. I know it sounds, oh, but then I get there five minutes later. Yeah, five minutes. My friend and I often do these kind of runs where one of us drive to the edge of the speed limit and another one drives this relaxed driving style. Well, we are there usually within 10 minutes of each other, most of the time 5. So this aggressive driving style does nothing good. As a nurse, I, <laughs> I think about such things such as your blood pressure, your pulse, your long-term health. And this aggressive driving style does nothing good for your health. Yeah, I know. An elevated blood pressure, an elevated pulse, that's bad. You run the risk of increased blood clots. This relaxed driving style and taking it easy, don't get your pulse all the way up there. It does the opposite. It actually helps you to be a bit more relaxed. And I have five things you need to try out to make sure that you can train this relaxed driving style. First up, I have already mentioned it, take 5 kilometers off the top of your speed. Second exercise, on your daily commute, start 5 minutes early, drive off. If you have half an hour, drive 5 minutes before your usual time. If you have an hour, 10 minutes and so on. You spend 5 or 10 minutes more driving, but you have those 5 or 10 minutes more to just relax. Third exercise. And this one is difficult. Try to drive on the outside. Keep right in the UK lift and make sure you just follow the flow and exercise in allowing traffic to take its course. Fourth exercise, be in the right lane ahead of time. 
if you are going off a highway, make sure that you are in the outermost lane ready to go off the highway one kilometer in advance. It's an exercise once you get used to it, 500 meters. But during the exercise phase, of five, well, one kilometer, because you will have to break, you will have to adapt your speed to trucks, to other cars, all these kind of things. And in the last moment, you don't have to go across several lanes. No, allow for yourself to go with the flow. The fifth and most important exercise, if you feel that you get agitated, take a break. I know, oh no, I have to spend five minutes just doing nothing. Yeah, it will train your brain. Once your brain knows, all right, if I get agitated, I have to take five minutes. Then your brain will also say, all right, I don't want to get agitated, so we take it calmly. And if you want more interesting tips on getting a better travel experience, including a better driving experience, well, YouTube suggests that you watch this video next.